One organization is hoping to pave the way in treatment Embark Behavioral Health. And here to tell us more about it is Alex Stavros, the CEO of Embark. Thanks so much for being on here. Of course. My I mean, I have young kids, so I know this is a problem that keeps growing and growing. What can you tell us about Embark? Sure. So Embark is a family of treatment programs across the country. Our core purpose, our reason for existence, is to create joy and heal generations. We have a variety of programs along the continuum from outpatient to residential treatment to outdoor wilderness therapy. Yeah, and what are you focused on helping these kids with? So we focus on mental health and behavioral health, emotional issues and addiction issues, uh, learning disabilities. Uh, our biggest focus is really right now on anxiety, depression, and suicide amongst our young people. It's amazing how much that has increased. Yes, yes, it's been a big problem in our country. Uh, over the last 10 years, the rates of anxiety, depression, and suicide amongst our young people has doubled yeah. uh, across the board in almost all ages. And it's really unfortunate and sad, and we really feel convicted about those trends and really want to be able to do something about it. Yeah, and you're doing a lot of different things. Um, one thing that you guys have is interesting. It is BHAG. Yes. What is that? Yes, so BHAG is... An, we actually have BHAG with us. We did. We brought <laughs> BHAG along, and BHAG is a representation of our... He looks oh. like you brought a gift for you. Thank you, BHAG. Uh, <laughs> All B right. BHAG is a fun representation of our big, empathetic, hairy, and audacious goal, and that is to take anxiety, depression, and suicide amongst adolescents from the all-time highs of today to all-time lows by 2028. And we created this representation, this caricature, because we really wanted to encourage and motivate and excite people around our country to partner on this in this cause to, to address these issues in our country with mental health and our young people. Yeah, and you feel passionately too about the concept of joy and that your organization's core purpose is to create joy. Yes. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, exactly. And, and, and joy really is, I believe, at the root of the issues we're experiencing. We view joy as very different from happiness. Happiness is an, is an experience that's fleeting, and there's research that shows that the more you try to pursue and find happiness, the more elusive it becomes. Joy is more of a state of being and is about the product of a shared experience. It comes about by putting others first and can be even experienced in times of pain and suffering. It's about finding purpose and meaning in pain and suffering. Whereas so much in our world right now in our country, the social media we see, all the information out there feels like everybody's happy and we're told we deserve to be happy and go and find happiness. And when we don't find it, we feel like we're less than. Yeah. So we have the sense that we're not worthy, that we're not lovable, that we can't achieve, that we aren't doing enough. And that's what you want to teach them is, is how to accomplish that. What, what do you say to parents? Because I know I'm a parent and this scares me. Yes, yes, great question. So parents, the wonderful thing about parents is we think they're the biggest part of the solution. And uh, in our programs, we don't talk about that we're gonna fix your child. We really talk about the family system. And we believe that parents yeah. have the biggest role in all of this. And there's a lot that parents can do to help their family and help their children in this situation. And it's called Embark, everyone. And you can learn more about it by going online. Just go to visitembarkbh.com. Um, go there today, learn more, and um, we can help stop this problem. Thanks so much.